Okay, this sermon is entitled, The Church of Christ Leads to Hell. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 13 reads, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Now, the Church of Christ is nothing more than a demonic cult, and they believe that you can lose your salvation, number one. They also believe that a literal water baptism, that is, baptism through immersion, is part of salvation. And they go to Mark chapter 16, Let's go ahead and turn there, and they quote verse 16, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. And they try to say that you have to literally be water baptized in order to go to heaven. And they fail to understand that the Bible mentions several different baptisms. This is not talking about a literal water baptism. When a person believes on Christ, they are baptized into Christ by the Holy Spirit, and that's an altogether different baptism. They also like to go to verses like Acts chapter 2. Let's go ahead and turn there. And verse 38. And it reads, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, they try to say that you have to repent of your sins, and be literally baptized in order to receive the remission of sins. But they fail to understand that this command is simply given to people who are already saved. And when it says for the remission of sins, it should read because of the remission of sins. It's not teaching that you have to do this to attain the remission of sins. The way these unsaved Pentecostals and Church of Christ cult members teach. The only reason these people are teaching this is because it gives them a convenient and seemingly biblical way to add to the gospel or to add to faith. It wouldn't matter what these people could add. If they could add drinking prune juice to faith, they would do so. So the bottom line is that the Church of Christ teaches that we're saved by works. Now, I've got on my computer the official plan of salvation by the Church of Christ. And I'm just going to jump down to the very end where it talks about our response to God in Christ when it comes to salvation. It reads, A person must have a change of heart and mind regarding God and sin. That would be repentance. They must determine to turn from all sin of which they are aware, from all that would displease their Creator, and they must purpose to live for Christ henceforth in absolute obedience to his will. They must dethrone self and confess that Jesus himself is Lord, the very Son of God, and is worthy of all honor and devotion. Now keep in mind, the people in Matthew chapter 7 who are going to be told, Depart from me, I never knew you, they were calling Jesus Lord. They said, Lord, Lord. And then they proceeded to brag about all the things they did. We cast demons out in your name. We did many wonderful works in your name. So this plan of salvation is not salvation by grace through faith. This is salvation by self-determination. To turn from all known sins and to dethrone self and to surrender and have absolute obedience to the will of God. That is works salvation, 100%. Now, I've got a quote by this false prophet, Victor Askew. He's a Church of Christ minister of Satan. Let's take a listen to what he has to say, then I'm going to expose him as the unsaved devil that he is, and then I'm going to continue to expose the entire Church of Christ holistically Let's take a listen to him. Here goes. Repentance is the hardest command of all the commands in the gospel plan of salvation for that very reason, folks. You see, I can no longer do things the way I want to do them. 
I'll save myself the way I want to save myself. Now, the only thing that he has said that's correct is that he's trying to save himself. He just said repentance was the hardest part of the plan of salvation. Well, if you define it as turning from your sins and trying to do so in man's frail, weak, pathetic flesh, then yeah, I would concur and say that it is hard. But see, it's not part of the plan of salvation. Now, let's continue listening to him. He's already made it clear that he believes repenting of sins is part of salvation now he's going to further define what this means. Here goes. Folks, individuals who are lost are in sin. They're in the practice of sin, the practice of iniquity. And if they're going to truly repent, they've got to change, don't they? A thief can't remain a thief. An adulterer can't remain an adulterer. A liar can't re remain a liar. They've got to change their way of living. And you see, this would include him as well. This unsaved hypocrite has not repented of his practicing sin. He's nothing but a stupid liar, a self-righteous jerk, a false prophet, a purveyor of a false gospel. When is he going to repent of all that? He's not. So he defines repenting of sins as turning away from your lifestyle, completely giving it up, abnegating from a certain behavior. So according to him, he's trying to work his way to heaven. He's not trusted Jesus Christ alone. At the beginning of his video, he was basically saying that if you don't get baptized, you're not really saved. So he's trusting in that as well. He's trusting in everything under the sun except for Jesus Christ alone, except for the finished work of the cross. He's going straight to hell, and so is everyone else who's a part of this Church of Christ garbage, this foolishness, this madness, this charismaniacal garbage. So that's all I have. The Church of Christ does not give the true gospel. It does not teach salvation by grace through faith and the eternal security of the believer. It's 100% works-based. There are steps to salvation, according to the website. So like, number one, you have to believe, then you have to repent, then you have to be baptized, and then you have to persevere to the end. It's something like that. The point I'm trying to make is there aren't any steps to salvation. There's one condition, there's one thing a person has to do, and it's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And they reject that. They reject belief alone, they reject faith alone, and all the Church of Christ is is a demonic, damnable cult that leads people straight to hell. And if you're a part of that mess, you need to repent of it and get out of it. And you need to trust Christ alone. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. So anyway, before I close, I'd like to give the official Church of Christ grind rap song. Here goes. <laughs> So I have repented of my sins. I'm a stupid, unsaved devil, and I'm going to hell. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.